All right. Cheers, Crystal. Cheers. Hey, everybody. This is Crystal. Hi, everybody. Crystal has been on our team for five years now. Mm -hmm. So, um, and this is her first time on right now. Yep. And uh, I guess it's been pretty popular for people to show their pen collections on here. And Crystal has a few. So she brought her collection on. But before we get into that, Crystal, can you tell everybody, like, what it is that you do here? Um, I am the quality and production specialist. One of the longer job and, titles. And what the heck does that mean, <laughs> Crystal? So all of the um, things we make in-house, like the pen flush, the grips, the brass sheets, all of that stuff, I coordinate and make 90% of it. Yes. Um, so if you bought a bottle of pen flush, I brewed it. There you go. Um, I also coordinate the ink sample list and do weights and measures on all the new pens. And if there's a problem with the product, I'm usually the one that does all the investigation work on it to try That's to figure right. out what's going on. If somebody's like, my bottle of such and such ink seems more purple or more green than it is on the website. And we're like, Crystal, can you check some of the bottles to the shelf? <laughs> so uh, I go yeah. pull it and I swab it and I tell you guys what's wrong with it. <laughs> exactly. Very cool. Crystal is very detail oriented and uh, has found herself a nice little niche here over mm -hmm. the years. Uh, and you've also kind of gotten into pens, I see. Yes. Uh, so let's talk about it. You have a very like rainbow kind of collection of pens. I do. I like Lamy's. Mostly All Stars, as you can see, stack up oh, the yeah. most. They're the vibrant colors and they're the metallic, okay. so it's a matte finish versus mm. a shiny. Gorgeous. So you're more Team All Star than Team Safari. Yes. Though I do like the um, the matte finish on the these. Like the petrol the and petrol the dark lilac. The petrol and the dark lilac. Yeah, yeah. I do need to get a charcoal. I don't have a charcoal yet. Now, charcoal or an all black? Because you got options now. I have an all mm. black all star. I don't need both of them. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay, so how did you kind of get into this? Was it intentional of like, yeah, I want to get them all, or you just kind of got one or two? Well, the Lamy Next was my first pen. It was my 90 Ever. day pen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so I was like, oh, you know, I really love this pen. I really like the grip section, which I know Colin doesn't. Colin does not like the Lamy grip section. Colin feels very strong about his um, Lamy pens, if you remember. I, I love Lamy <laughs> pens. They are my favorite. Um, but I love the triangle grip section. And then we had, at the time when I started, we had the Pearl All-Star mm -hmm. as the seasonal pen. Yep. And I was like, I really want that pen. It's gorgeous. So, uh, And then the um, Safari Pink was the first was the seasonal for the next year after i started mm -hmm. and that was actually the first pen i bought was mm -hmm. my pink safari and it's actually my daily carry it's the one i carry all the time really? the only color that is ever in this pen is diamine diamine hope pink well very cool that's a good ever. match <laughs> yeah yeah and um of course we get ink samples here so yes. i got that was one of my first samples and i fell in love with it and i was like okay this pen will only have a, have that ink and then i couldn't use it because we didn't have Hope pink for a long time. That's right. So as soon as we got it back in stock, I bought a bottle. Nice. Because <laughs> I was like, we're now never you can doing use that again. It all the time. <laughs> never doing that again. Of course, one of the many perks of being at GPC is that uh, you get free ink samples, and Crystal's like right there watching them be Every made, day. sometimes <laughs> making them. Yes. <laughs> so you're a little closer to that process. Yes. Very cool. So tell me about some of these other pens you have. What are some of your favorites? Um, I obviously love all my All Stars. Um, I really have gotten into the Twisby. The Twisby thing. Um, I have one of the Peak Ecos here. It's got um, Noodler's Cardinal Kestrel in it. Oh, nice. Um, which I picked because Katie's daughter's name is Kestrel. That's right. So I was like, oh, that's cute. It's got, <laughs> it's got like, you know, sentimental value. Yeah. And then, um, let's see, like my original, I have one of the original Nighthawks. That's right. You were here for the original, the original Nighthawk. The original, the original Carbon right. Fiber Monteverde Nighthawk that that's doesn't right. even have the logo on it. That's right. That was first batch. first batch. That's OG right there. Yep. Uh, my red all-star, because when I started this had already faded out, but I have a friend who lives in England, and she found it in one of the um, stationery stores there, and she nice. sent it to me. I didn't even know it was coming. She just mailed it to me. That's awesome. And I was like, oh my goodness. You I was got like, good friends. I was like, if you can find a coffee brown one, I will love you forever. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good one too. But I don't know if she will. <laughs> She's still looking. It's been yeah, years now. Yeah, I think now. the coffee, that was before you started. Yeah, it was way it was before coffee. I started. Yeah. Um, my Edison, which I just got. I got a Primrose yeah. Perlette. What is, okay, yeah, so, that's nice. I saw this pen at the DC Pen Show three years ago. Wow. And I have wanted it ever since. Wow. <laughs> and I figured... Okay, it's been three years. I should probably just buy it now. 
I would say that's a pretty safe amount of time. That's not an impulse buy. No. At that point. Because every time I look at the Edison pens when we get them in for like the seasonal premieres and stuff, uh -huh. I'm like, I'm like, that's pretty, but it's not a primrose. Uh. <laughs> so I finally got that. So it was a Grail pen of sorts. It for is you. definitely one of my nice. Grail pens. And that's not that. one we carry. That was a custom. No, it was a yeah. custom, custom buy. Now it's got to be hard to like see all these pens rolling through because you're quality checking too. So you're measuring yes. like all the pens. I, you're seeing yep. everything hands on. How hard is that to like? resist the urge to just want everything it is hard but most of the time it's like am i actually going to use it or is it just going to sit there mm. and like all of these pens i have used at least once <laughs> there are none of them that haven't been used so just every like, pen's been inked every pen's been inked okay um and that can, you can justify that yes and then there's one two three four five six that are currently inked very cool. So that's a reasonable number. Mm -hmm. Is that is that like where you try to keep it as far mm -hmm. as like number of pens inked? Yeah, and then I'll trade them out every now and then. Nice. Um, the Twisbees are a little bit harder because they hold a lot of ink and it doesn't dry out. So right, <laughs> they can sit a little longer and not have to worry about cleaning oh, yeah. them out. So I've often. had some I've had sit like eight nine months. Like my yeah. eco, with I had like in my eco when I first got the eco. I think I've had emerald de Chavor in it. Mm -hmm. Like eight or nine months, didn't even dry out. Yeah, this has got it. Um, Lamy Vibrant Pink in it, which has been in there since we launched it. So wow, and it's still, still going strong, still nice and liquidy. Yeah. <laughs> See, I need to take notes from you because I usually keep somewhere in the neighborhood of like, I don't know, twenty or thirty pens inked. I kind of lose track, <laughs> and then they do dry out, and then it's like full on cleaning restoration. Practice I did realize that, that I left this one inked up and it dried out and I had to clean it and then I was like oh I already cleaned it and I went to go use it again and it was still not clean and I was like oh, oh great I get to clean it again. Yep. I don't like cleaning pens so I don't dirty them up <laughs> except in small quantities. Well see I've just chosen to love cleaning pens as a conscious mental <laughs> effort because that is, you know and then I'm like every time I get to do it, I'm like yes I get to do something I love now. <laughs> <laughs> but, see, but sometimes you guys have me measure um, the expensive stuff and then yes. like sometimes I'm like I'm afraid to touch this because if I hurt it I, <laughs> it's a very bad thing yes it's like you the, break it you bought it right yeah, now. I, I did the weights and measures for one of the Namiki pens oh, and yeah. it was very expensive and I actually like slacked you I was like can I use vital gloves on this is that okay <laughs> is it gonna like, hurt fine. anything whatever you're comfortable with yeah just don't drop it that's all <laughs> wear whatever you want just don't drop it so uh, yeah yeah <laughs> So but, what's been, what's been, uh, well, I see you got some like special pens in here, mm -hmm. right? So I want to call some of those out. You have a VP Twilight. I do. Which immediately jumps out to me because that is like one of my favorite pens of all time, mm -hmm. I think, which is awesome. Yes. This actually has like a little bit of a, a story behind it because I wanted this pen. I was going to buy this pen. I had the money saved up to buy this pen when we launched it as a special edition. Mm -hmm. Then I had to have surgery, unexpected emergency surgery mm -hmm. that went out the window. And then we had a holiday party, mm -hmm. and it was one of the gifts we could put in for, and my name like got drawn. Like a prize, yeah. So I was very excited to have this pen. So it was like a, yay! I got my other chance to get this pen. Cause... And I swear that it was not rigged. <laughs> it was not rigged. But it was like very secretly, evenly. we were all kind of rude. We were like, we know Crystal wants this pen so bad. Please let her win it. So I was able to get that pen. I love this pen. Yeah. I, I put a lot of shimmer inks in this pen, actually. Really? It's hard to get them cleaned. Yes, I was going to say. But because it's hard to get them cleaned, if you just put more shimmer in it, it's fine. <laughs> hey, then you don't really have to thoroughly clean it out, nope. right? Yeah, Rachel's kind of of that same mentality. She lets me clean all of her vanishing points. Well, all of her pens, mm -hmm. really, but the vanishing points especially mm -hmm. are, like, some of my favorites. Yep. You know, with some of those things. And then, like, because it's ombre, it's, like, a little bit more of a, like, a... I like to match my inks with my pens. For the most part, yeah. So it gives me a pretty... little bit more of a a, a, a spectrum. You at least, yeah, you got you got a couple <laughs> options there. It actually least. has Inferno Origin there right now, so it's not even what? close. What? That's know. insanity. I know it's I not even close that. because this pen actually has Hope Pink in it as well. <laughs> what? Crystal, <laughs> you're an agent of chaos. I know. Well, see, the horrible <laughs> part about it is my Lamy pens. I love to use the Lamy ink that came with it, so like I love to use my burnt orange and my burnt orange. Nice. But we don't sell it, so I can't no. sign notes with it. So it's kind of like, do I really want to ink right. it up? <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's but, true. So do you have a bottle of the copper orange? Mm -hmm. I have a bottle of the copper orange, mm. and then I have a bottle of... That is one of my favorite inks. The coral and the purple and... Wow, so you really got, yeah. you're rolling deep with some like petrol. I have special petrol edition stuff here. Yeah, I right. like the... You're, you're making like, people jealous right now. I don't We're get all of them, say that. but I like 
the fun colors. I would have gotten a neon yellow if it glowed in the dark. <laughs> Just saying, Lamy. Um, if it glowed in the dark, I would have bought it. <laughs> I don't know if they've ever done a glow in the dark Lamy pen. But That's a like really good should, idea, Lamy. It looks like it should glow that. in the dark. It, it was like highlighter like, yellow. It was pretty bright, yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, yeah. thank you for coming on, Crystal. This is really cool to sit, chat about pens, mm -hmm. talk about Goulet back in the day. Um, yeah, I do want to give you all a heads up. So we are going to be taking a little bit of a break from right now for the next week and a half because Andy, back here behind the camera, is taking some well-deserved time off. And we are like, we just can't even, we just can't even without Andy. So we're, <laughs> so we're, taking, a little, we're taking a little break. So we're going to be filling in with some other video content, stuff like that. She's been working hard to make sure that you all are not just sitting there twiddling your thumbs without her. Um, but it's going to be awesome. So uh, yeah, we will pick this up in another week and a half or so. Well, I guess two weeks because it'll be Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Two weeks from now, right? Two I don't even, days. I can't even think that far in right. advance. It's like, might as well be, you know. A year from now but anyway we'll be back before you know it uh hope you all have a great day thanks for being on crystal this is great seeing yes, you thank you for having um me. thanks everybody have a great day and right on